Hey, everybody. Thanks for checking out this podcast. Today's episode is brought to you by our sponsor, the Fair for Uber Car Program. Don't get stuck putting all those miles and depreciation on your personal vehicle. Instead, check out the Fair for Uber Car Program. I used the program for 10 weeks. It was super simple, and Fair even arranged for Uber to pick me up at my home and drive me to my new car, which was a nice Hyundai Elantra for $195 per week plus taxes. That price includes the car, plus your rideshare insurance, and best of all, unlimited miles. Now, when you compare this program to Lyft's program, the cost for the car is less and the bonuses are more. The program is available in California for now, but there are other programs all across the country. So check the FAIR website for prices in your market. Some drivers are even getting their first week for free. So check it out, download the FAIR app, get a car today. It's a great program. And be sure to use our code, which is RSG100, RSG100, so we get credit for sending you there. All right? All right. Let's start the show. Welcome to the Rideshare Dojo. If you're an Uber or Lyft driver or anyone in the gig economy, this is the place for you. With tips and techniques, interviews with passengers and industry leaders, entertainment, inspiration, motivation. Here, with over 23,000 rides, is your host, Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. Hey, everybody. Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, Instacart drivers, Postmates, Ease, Zoom drivers, DoorDash, Via, Amazon Prime, Amazon Prime Now, Uber Eats, Grubhub, all you drivers and passengers and all of us who are part of this big, beautiful gig economy, welcome. It is so great to have you here for today's exciting episode. My name is Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. Hey, before I get started, have I told you about Audible? Well, you can sign up today and get a free audiobook from Audible. This week, I am recommending a book I am reading right now, which is great for entrepreneurs and anybody interested in productivity. It's called Brain Rules by John Medina. I'm actually listening to it right now. You can go to therideshareguy.com forward slash audible, that's A-U-D-I-B-L-E, for a 30-day free trial and a free audiobook. Audible is great for drivers to learn on the road. Go to therideshareguy.com forward slash audible and get Brain Rules by John Medina. All right, I'm recommending that book this week. Let's start the show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. Similar to what I did last month, I'm going to do five things for November. So these are five little, little recommendations that I'm making that I think you, a driver, would really appreciate. <clears throat> so I listen to a lot of what we call content, you know? So I'm driving around, I'm at home, you know, there's like Netflix and YouTube and Amazon Prime Video and HBO Go and all this stuff, YouTube TV, all this stuff I got. And... Um, you know, I keep my ears open and I'm and I watch some things and I listen for some other things and and um I just wanted to bring you five what I think are just great uh experiences uh that I I can share with you. How you doing out there? Driving in your cars, uh picking up some passengers, dropping off some passengers. I hope you're having a great day or night depending on what time you're listening to this. So let's get started. Let's jump right in. So I'm going to start off with something that came out last month, but I didn't include it in last month's list. But my God, big news. Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad was such a seminal, wonderful series, wasn't it? Did you watch Breaking Bad? Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Every episode, just picking up on the on the, the previous episode. And uh, so good. And those last three or so episodes, just perfect. The last episode called Felina, right? Just left everything all set. Um, we saw we saw uh, Walt, you know, he was lying on the, on the ground dead. And, uh, and Jesse, Jesse was, you know, driving out in his car called an El Camino. 
and and there is a now a movie called El Camino, which picks up right where the series ended. So if you're a Breaking Bad a Breaking Bad fan, this is a must see, and I did see it, and it's available on Netflix, and it it was great. I mean, it was so satisfying because we get to see what happens to Jesse after he you know drove drove out finally escaped from that hellish torture that he was going through. And uh, yeah, we just get to see. I'm not going to tell you anything about it. Uh, I'll just tell you that it's quintessential Breaking Bad. Vince Gilligan directed it, wrote it, and uh, it's just phenomenal. So check it out. El Camino, the Breaking Bad movie, which was released on Netflix uh, last month. Totally worth it. Even if you... Even if you're not a huge Breaking Bad fan, it's a good movie. But most of us are Breaking Bad fans, and it is a phenomenal movie. All right, so that's number one. <clears throat> number two, Mr. Ray Donovan is back on November 17th on Showtime. So I've been watching Ray Donovan since the beginning. Uh, Liev Schreiber, Schreiber uh, is the star and uh, it's about him and his his brothers and his father. So it's got the brother relationships. It's got the father son's relationship. Of course, there's some women thrown in there. And uh, he's a fixer. He fixes things for people, and uh, that can involve sometimes even murder uh, to take care of a situation. Very good, very good uh, series. And I think this might be the last uh, the last uh, season of it, and it starts on November 17th. So if you like, you know, the, you know, like The Sopranos or Breaking Bad, where there's that, you know, that main, main male character uh, that's tortured a bit, uh, but capable of, of good things, capable of violence, um, th- this, is a, this is definitely a show you, you want to watch. And if you haven't even started it, I suggest you start with episode number one, season one, and get into it, because every every season was just fantastic. All right, that's number two. Number three, this is an episode of a podcast called Pop Culture Happy Hour, and it is a conversation with Terry Gross, which occurred on October 15th. So on your podcast app, you can go to Pop Culture Happy Hour and find it. It was on October 15th, last month. And it was uh, an interview uh, where one of the pop culture happy hour people uh, interviewed Terry Gross about her career, about interviewing people, about, uh, you know, just uh, things that have happened in Terry Gross's illustrious career. Terry Gross, of course, is uh, uh, the creator of Fresh Air. And she does like two interviews a week. And she's been doing it for like 30 years. And she is just one of the best interviewers around. So if you have any interest in ever st- doing a podcast, uh, Terry Gross is somebody you want to uh, study. And this was a really educational uh, chat, very behind the scenes, uh, behind the kimono kind of uh, observations that she was making. So that's Pop Culture Happy Hour, a conversation with Terry Gross that took place on October 15th. Okay, number four. This is a throwback to 1989, all right? So I was listening to a podcast with um, Conan O'Brien and Neil Young. And Conan O'Brien said, you know, when I worked at Saturday Night Live, you performed, and it was absolutely the best live music performance on TV that I've ever seen. And Neil Young performed Rockin' in the Free World. It was in 1989, and you can find it on YouTube. So if you go to YouTube and you just go Neil Young, Saturday Night Live, Rocket in the Free World, 1989, you will find it. It's about nine minutes long. It's just a just a scorching, scorching performance. He was not even aware of the audience and the TV. I mean, they were just they were just playing hard, and it is it's inspiring and uh, great. If you're a Neil Young fan, it helps for sure. But uh, it was it was a great performance, and uh, it's available free, free. Just go to YouTube, and uh, you can scoop it up. Okay, last is um, a documentary. I think I, I may have mentioned it in the past, but I'm I'm 
adding it now is something I'm recommending on Netflix. It's available on Netflix right now, and it's called Jiro Dreams of Sushi. Jiro Dreams of Sushi. And this is a documentary about a man named Jiro, who for 30 or 40 years has been making sushi. And he was the first sushi chef to get three Michelin stars for just having a, Mich- uh, a sushi restaurant. And this is a documentary that's very inspiring. It's about a man who is, becomes a master of his craft. Day after day, he does, he does the work. He puts in the time. And then it's also about him and his relationship to his sons. He has a couple of sons. One is going to kind of follow him in, in his footsteps, and the other one is broken off and started his own, his own restaurant. So it's a very fascinating. How do you train? How does a master train his own children to uh, to do what he does um, when what he does is so spectacular? So that's there's that, and you see him in you know in Tokyo. It takes place in Tokyo, and you see him going to the the fish market and selecting fish, and a lot of a lot of discussion about the rice and and how the fish is prepared. And if you like sushi, it's great to watch it. And uh, if you're just somebody who really wants to master some kind of a craft. Uh, it's, a, it's a great character study uh, for this man named Jiro. So it's J-I-R-O, Jiro Dreams of Sushi. So there you have it. Five things for November. Number one, this is a good list. Breaking Bad movie called El Camino, available on Netflix. Number two, the series, the TV series called Ray Donovan, I believe it's the final the final season starts on November 17th. If you have not been watching it, just go back and start from the beginning. Number 3, Pulp Pop Culture Happy Hour, a conversation with Terry Gross, available wherever you get your podcasts, and this was on October 15th, so you just got to go back like 3 or 4 episodes. By the way, I will say that Pop Culture Happy Hour is an excellent podcast. It comes out twice a week on Tuesdays and Fridays. And they, there's usually four people, and they talk about a movie that came out or a TV program that came out or some music that came out, and uh, it's really great. So um, I, I, I always watch, I always listen to that one. Pop Culture Happy Hour, Conversation with Terry Gross, October 15th. Number four, going back, old school, Neil Young, Saturday Night Live, Rockin' in the Free World, 1989, available on YouTube. And number five on Netflix, available now for streaming free, is Jiro Dreams of Sushi. J-I-R-O, Jiro Dreams of Sushi. Check it out, all right? So that's it for today. Thank you for joining me uh, next uh, Thursday. Let's see, coming later this week, we've got a, a, a driver from New Jersey, and we're going to talk to him about his experiences driving He's also a a pharmacist, and uh, he's starting his own uh, YouTube channel and website, uh, Real Entrepreneur. So uh, that's a great, great interview coming up on Thursday. Hey, y'all go out and have a great day. Be safe out there. If you're thinking about starting an online business, definitely check out my website at nomadj.com, where you can get my free ebook called What's Next? How to do online work you love from anywhere in the world. That is nomadjay.com. I also do a daily one minute per day podcast called Nomad Daily, in which I share different aspects of life. Uh, Nomad Daily with Jay Creator is available wherever you get your podcasts. People are really liking it. Check it out. You just uh, subscribe, and then every day you're just gonna it's gonna automatically load up, and you're gonna get the next episode, and you just listen for a minute to a minute and a half, and boom, you're done. And uh, it's great. I really enjoy doing that. All right. Next episode, more news, interviews, all things Rideshare Dojo for drivers and all of us in the gig economy. I will do my best to bring you the best here in the dojo. This is Jay Crater saying thanks for entering the dojo every Monday and Thursday. Drive happy and be safe out there. Loved this episode of the Rideshare Dojo podcast? Head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. It really helps, and it's very much appreciated. Be sure to visit RideshareDojo.com to join the conversation, access the show notes, and discover our fantastic bonus content. 
Thanks for listening and be safe out there.